It's been such a difficult year and they really are just crawling their way to the finish line. Colorado is in a race to vaccinate as many people as possible to slow the spread of COVID-19. That goal is more challenging in schools when a majority of students are not eligible for a shot. Well, it just means, you know, one more disruption in a year of many disruptions. Amy Baca Olert is the president of the Colorado Education Association, the state's largest teachers union. Colorado's health department believes roughly 90% percent of K through 12 teachers have received a first dose of COVID-19 vaccine. Because the, the teacher is vaccinated, the students are still having to quarantine. Uh, but the teacher is able to, to remain, you know, in the school. Some relief for teachers, but at the same time, more of their students are in quarantine this month compared to March, according to state data. It's happening as Colorado reports a rapid increase in cases among middle and high school students. It's not surprising. Um, we saw this uh, to a much greater degree in um, some other states in the U.S. Dr. Sean O'Leary at Children's Hospital Colorado says they are seeing more COVID-19 patients, too. We have seen a a little bit of a decrease in um, the mitigation measures that we've all been doing in terms of, of relaxing certain things. Right now, the hospital is offering the Pfizer vaccine to 16 and 17 year olds. As for younger kids, Pfizer has requested authorization from the FDA for people between 12 and 15. So the more people we get vaccinated, the less circulation we're going to see. The hope is that decreasing the spread will help teachers and students stay in the classroom. What next school year will look like, Colorado Education Association says that's still unclear. It's just a good reminder that we're not done yet, that we still have to distance, we still have to wear those masks. Kelly Rinke, Nine News.